Pistons fans, what's happening, man? It's your boy, Nomis J, coming at y'all real quick on this lovely Friday. Um, Want to get into some Killian Hayes talk, man, about what I feel like the Pistons, why they should draft him. I want to talk about it, man. So let's keep it real, man. The Pistons in the need of a desperate need of a point guard. They've been needing one for years. And when you look, look if you even go back and look at the history of when Killian, I mean, of, oh my goodness, of when the Pistons will win championship games and why they were in the finals a lot, it's always because of these factors. They had great bids and a great point guard. You know, Chauncey Bills was a guy they taught the game, specifically Larry Brown taught him the game, man. And, you, you know, you had Ben Wallace, who they built the team around, and you've seen what happened. The old 88 boys had several good bigs from the five to the Three, down there to the three at the four position, and then like I said, you got your two top guards are Dumars and Zeke. I mean, come on, man, Zeke was a monster by itself. On the minutes, and when you look into your draft and you going back your history, uh, how you used to make success, no matter how different things are today, you can still go back the same concept. And when the Pistons have that seventh pick. They need to do is evaluate which guy best fits this team's nature, what they used to do and what they how they used to do it. When I look into it myself, when I can tell the person that best fits the Pistons as a point guard is Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes is the guy I think the Pistons should go after. He's the guy that gives you the playmaking ability. He's the guy who has the work ethic. He's the guy who you can tell plays smart. He's the guy who plays uh, defense, can pass the ball, can, you know, give you some scoring. This is the guy I think that the Pistons should get. He even has a relationship already with Seku. I think this is the perfect fit for the Pistons. I hope that this is a guy that they're considering to go out and get. Um, you know, that's that's just who I would like the Pistons see. It doesn't have to be the final say-all, know-all. It's, it's just who I would like for the team. You got some guys out there that like Holly Burton and, of course, Le- Melo Ball, who I actually started growing to like. And so, even Kyra Lewis even came up into the fray. So, but I'm leaning towards the Killian Hayes, man. I, even as far as him building up his strength, I believe he's gained some weight. If I'm correct, he was listed like 176. I think he's like 190 or even 200, if I'm correct. Uh, so, the guy that's working out and trying to get better is what you want to see, man. And he's not even drafted yet. You know, these are things that I take note of. You know, Seku is always in the gym going in when you look at him. And it's just like the young core for the Pistons have developed that work hard mindset. We just need to see it on the court more. And we hoping that they can get things together now with the bubble. But as far as drafting goes, I really would like to hope the Pistons could get Killian Hayes, man. Like I said, I want the guy who can give you the most real, well-rounded style of basketball, man. Who can be a real uh, floor technician, floor general out there, man, that can run. The whole situation for the Pistons get people in the right place. And, 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 and you have to get a big, too. You have to get a legit center, man, that can hop and dunk the balls. I want to see some alley-oops, man. I want to see some guys who can give us some alley-oops. When we have nothing, when we can't shoot, we can tr- struggle getting into the rim or driving the ball to the rim or whatever the case may be or mid-range jump shot not working, 18-footer not working. Give, give me an alley-oop, man, out of nowhere. Don't, don't, don't just miss shots and hope the center can get a putback. And give me an alley-oop from the point guard position, man. Give me somebody who can alley-oop the basketball and create something out of nothing. Get, get, the point guard job is to make his guys around him better. It's to get those guys in the game. That's why I look at it. Killian Hayes is like he has the potential to do that. This is why I'm in favor of us drafting him, man, because... Hey, I'm willing to even trade up to get him. I'm not going to discuss too much of what I would trade up to go after him or not. But I'm willing to trade up to get him, especially if LaMelo and all those guys are gone. I'm willing to trade up to get Killy. I think he's worth the effort and the time, man, for what I've seen. Um, I mean, it's, it has to be the guy, man. He has to be the guy you draft and start developing for real this time, man. I mean, it has to be him. You got Derrick Rose. You even got Luke Kennard there who can help develop him and help catch him up to the speed along with Bruce Brown as well. So you got a group of guys that will be able to help him out in his transitions too. A lot of people, certain people feel like he may not be NBA ready. I remember initially when we uh, first started talking about him earlier in the year. 
But then, if you, according to Jay Mo, though, he feels like, you know, the guy may be more ready than people think. And I can actually say that, too. You never know. Like, I, I ain't going to say he could be a game one starter for the Pistons if we were to draft him. But I say certain time down the line, because you know what the Pistons, man. You just got to be realistic. They're not going to probably have an official starting roster that heavy next year, in this come, next coming season anyway, especially with this COVID thing still going on. So you have to contest that they may keep him as a learning tool to watch watch the guys like Derrick Rose and Luke Kennard and then feed him grapes and pieces of it later down the line. So you have to always keep that open mindset. But still, I think the Pistons should still be considering to draft him. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's not to crap on any other player that's in the draft available, but I think that's the guy, when you look at the history of how this team has won, he's the best guy that fits us. And that's how the way I want to go for that one. So that's all I got for y'all, man, today. Uh, y'all can leave in the comment section how you feel. I always ask to be respectful about it. And if you disagree with me, that's fine. But uh, should hit the sub button for your boy, man. I hope y'all enjoy y'all day. It's your boy, Nomus J, and I'm out the building. Peace.